Did you know that people are paying thousands of dollars to literally have their eyes destroyed? You're probably thinking, who the hell would do such a thing? If anything, you'd be paying a bunch of money not to have your eyes destroyed because your eyes and your vision are such an important thing to a person. Yet, this is happening all the time where people go to these so-called doctors who end up slicing open their eyes and putting them at risk for a bunch of horrible, horrible conditions. And the worst thing is that this is happening constantly and most people are not even aware of it. It's just disgusting and it needs to change. And my mission is to inform people about these things that can happen to them. There's so many different issues you could develop, such as a bunch of different horrible vision issues, eye pain, dry eyes, all sorts of things. But in today's video, I'm going to discuss a few different conditions that you can develop due to having laser eye surgery. This is nowhere near an exhaustive list, as if I were to talk about every potential condition or issue you could develop, then this video would probably be about an hour long. And I'm only going to discuss a few uh, issues, basically the ones that you had seen in the thumbnail of the video. And I'm also not going to go into a lot of detail as to exactly why the surgery causes these issues, because I'm going to be making another video series where I talk uh, one by one about each individual issue and I go into a lot of detail as to why uh, the surgery causes these vision issues. The picture of the eye in the upper left hand corner had developed cataracts due to having laser eye surgery. They developed what is called early onset cataracts from laser eye surgery. Generally people tend to develop cataracts when they're older but laser eye surgery can expedite this process by quite a few decades. So younger people who have had laser eye surgery can develop cataracts. And there's a positive correlation between having the surgery and developing cataracts just due to the surgery itself, but also due to the um, use of the steroid drops uh, often prescribed with the surgery, which can also cause cataracts to develop. The picture in the bottom left shows an eye that developed what is called post-LASIK corneal ecstasia. Refractive eye surgery involves reshaping the cornea, and the thinning of the cornea ends up making the cornea weaker, and the cornea can become so weak that it ends up collapsing in on itself and bulging out which can lead to a whole bunch of horrible, horrible eye issues. The picture of the eye in the upper right hand corner is an eye that had undergone a corneal transplant due to getting LASIK. Laser eye surgery ends up destroying the cornea and sometimes this can force a person to have to undergo a corneal transplant. And getting a corneal transplant in itself is really bad and what can be even worse and in this particular case the cornea or excuse me the body ended up rejecting the corneal transplant and you can see in the picture that picture was taken after the body had rejected the transplant and if that happens sometimes the eye can be saved and in this case it was but the thing is this person will have to take um medicated eye drops every single day for the rest of their life in order to prevent the body from further rejecting the corneal transplant. The picture in the bottom right shows the eye socket of a person who had LASIK and ended up having five retinal detachments due to having the surgery. Refractive eye surgery puts you at a much, much greater risk for developing a retinal detachment. And on the fifth surgery, a person ended up having a hemorrhage in their eye, which caused them to lose all sight and go completely blind in that eye. So they chose to have the eyeball removed and ended up getting a prosthetic eye. And this is all, again, due to having laser eye surgery. These surgeries are absolutely no joke. There are just so many other conditions besides the ones I listed that you can develop 
and just issues that these surgeries can cause. And I talk about a lot of the vision related issues that I've experienced from the surgeries in other videos, if you wanna check them out. All the surgeries do is they just damage the eye, the structure and the integrity of the eye and the cornea. And there is absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing good that comes out of these surgeries. So please share this video and my other videos with anybody who is considering getting refractive eye surgery. And it is just absolutely a million times not worth getting. There's just nothing good that comes out of it. So until next time, stay strong, warriors.